Hello friends, welcome back to another edition of Java Learning. Today our topic is string handling in Java. Today we will write a program that will find out the longest and the shortest word from a sentence. So the algorithm is given here. You are starting the program, then you will import a sentence. If we, uh, we are going to use scanner class to extract a word or a token from the entered sentence. And inside the loop, you will take what? A counter that will increase by one when a token is extracted. For the first time, when you are not comparing with any data, then the first extracted token would be the longest and the shortest word. Suppose your name has got six characters. So when you are not comparing with anybody else, then your name would be considered the longest and the shortest word. Next time onwards, what do you do? You check whether the token extracted, I mean the new token that is extracted is greater in length than the previous longest word or not. If yes, replace the previous longest word with the new extracted token or word. Do the same for shortest word also. If new extracted token or word is shorter than the previous shortest word. Repeat step 3 to 6 that is again you will extract a token and the rest part follows the same unless you encounter a dot this entire process will carry on till you encounter a dot so after coming out of the loop you will print the shortest and the longest word and finally the program will end now let us go to java window for your program so the util class has been imported this is class called long and short scanner class object sc has been created okay now what will you do you will give a message system dot out dot print ln enter a sentence and press a space and a dot to end when you finished entering the data I mean the sentence is over you will press space and a dot and then here I'm not going to input the data inside a loop I'm going to do because this process will continue how long till the loop is true so here you do what you need a variable to store a sentence string s which is initially null now you're doing s is equal to sc dot next for a word so you will enter a sentence but inside the loop it will take the first word okay so this is done now you will have to check but you have to finish your loop somewhere okay so if you see if sc sorry if s dot equals if you encounter a dot you will do what you will come out of the loop right otherwise it will do this part okay now you will have a counter variable 
let us take that variable as c and c is initially zero so when you have extracted a string from a sentence counter would be c is equal to c plus one for the first time that is when c is equal to one your longest word is equal to the token that has been extracted or the word that has been extracted right and the shortest word also will be the same now lw and sw i have to declare so take a variable out here that is string type only string lw is initially has nothing and string sw also is null now this is for the first time when you are not comparing your data this extracted word when you are not comparing with anybody that is but for the first time the longest word is s and the shortest word is also s but you know next time onwards that is else if this part will be executed only once when c is equal to one otherwise what it will do if the new extracted word you know the loop will go on it will take out the second token that is the word if this you know dot length the new words length if it is more than lw dot length then you will replace the previous longest word with the new word similarly for the shortest word you have to do else if if s dot length is le uh, less than you know shortest word that is sw then shortest word will be replaced and this process will continue when you encounter a dot then the loop will break and it will come out of the loop here you print longest word you have kept it in lw also you will print the shortest word so you just copy this and this is kept in sw <coughs> then i end the main method and the class now let us compile <coughs> extra bracket you have here so compile once more control k string spelling is wrong s t r i n g compile no syntax error now close this go back to the window now we will run the program so it has been compiled already 
let me compile once more and let us run the main method string args box bracket I have forgotten to give so let me change this compile learning run the program okay so the longest and the shortest word I will have to input so I'm entering the sun rises in the east space and a dot to enter so here you see this is my input space and a dot if I want to finish and after that you know inside the logic is going on to find out the longest and the shortest one and if you see the sentence the maximum length is rises and in two letters you have in in so that is the shortest word I hope all of you have understood this program do copy the algorithm for your easy coding and thank you so much for watching this video keep learning and watching my all upcoming videos thank you so much